What's up? My name is Justin. I'm an audio engineering student here at the University of Memphis, and today I'm going to give you a demo on different stereo miking techniques. Now, you use a stereo miking technique when you want a nice stereo image on a single source. You can't just use one mic because one mic just gives you one signal and it's mono. So you have to use two and set them up in a stereo mic array. There's a couple different kinds. There's space pair, coincident, and near coincident. So a space pair is really just a pair of mics spaced out and you pan one hard left and one hard right. The next one is near coincident. Near coincident is where you have the mic capsules closer together and you have them sort of tilted out. Like an ORTF array is a pair of mics where the capsules, that's the end of the mic, are about six inches or seven inches apart and you tilt them 110 degrees away from each other, like this. And that sort of mimics the human ears and gives you a nice stereo array or stereo image when you hard pan them left and right. Next one is coincident, which we're not going into too much today, but coincident is where you have the mics like this, coincident as, as in the capsules are coinciding, and you have them at about 90 degrees like this. You pan this one hard right and this one hard left. It's flipped for you, so this one would be uh, hard right and this one would be hard left. The next one is a MS, or mid-side, which is where you have a figure eight mic like this one. And you have it on its side, so its lobes are out to the side like this. That's the side compo component of mid-side. And then you have a cardioid mic like this, close to its capsule, pointed straight ahead. So it looks like this. And that's the mid component. So you have your lobes going to the side, but then you have the cardioid lobe going straight ahead. All right, so let's take this to the piano and we'll show you what these look like in practice. So here's what they look like in practice, say when you're recording a piano. So the first one we looked at was a space pair. And here we have two cardioid microphones in space pair pointing straight down right over the baffles here. Here we have a spaced pair this mic and this mic right here form a spaced pair. Here we have a ORTF. One of them is pointed at the high strings and one of them is pointed at the low strings. And in here we have a MS configuration with a figure eight mic where the two lobes are over the uh, low strings and the high strings with a small cardio cardioid mic pointed straight down at the strings forming the mid of the mid side. So let's take this in the studio, check out a recording and hear the difference between all these mic arrays. All right, so earlier we got a recording where a piano player came in and we, we recorded all of these different mic arrays at the exact same time. So now I'm gonna play this for you and I'll let you hear the differences between the different mic arrays, the different stereo image they give and uh, see what sounds best. So we'll start with this piece right here. Okay, first I'm going to show you the first spaced pair that I showed you. That was right over the baffles. Okay, now we'll play the other space pair that's further back over the harp. The first thing that you'll probably notice is that the second mic array has a lot more of low end and the first mic array has a lot more high end. So for a song like this, the first stereo mic array would probably be better because it's a much more poppy sound. And something like the second mic array would sound better on a classical piece because it has a much more full, rich sound. All right, 
let's check out the MS. So that sounds a lot more like the second stereo array than it does the first stereo array. So this is also something that might be used more on classical pieces than a pop piece like this. Okay, so here's the first stereo array first. Now the second array. Right off the bat, you can tell that the mids and the lows have a much richer sound than on the first array. Let's move on to MS. So like the second space pair, the mids and lows do have that rich sound. ORTF now. Alright, I hope this gives you a little bit of insight in how different mic techniques, different mic stereo arrays have a different effect on the sound that's ultimately recorded. Thanks for watching.